Welcome again to another eye lecture from me, Professor Bownall. This time about data. Data, it's digital gold, the currency of modern business, the future of retail, the only thing that still matters on the ecological Catherine wheel of doom we call planet Earth, or so they tell you. Having winged it at a very high paying job at Facebook, I am well placed to tell you the truth about data and therefore the truth about everything or so they tell you. Let's start with the folk at Cambridge Analytica. This lot sold the data lie brilliantly, telling people that with this algorithm or that mathematical equation, they can bend any election in anybody's favour. This ain't necessarily so. They just took money off any old loony that believed in them. The reality is somewhat different because much like political polls and indeed life in general, people on social media lie all the time. You no more give a shit that it's your friend's first day back at school than the parents do themselves, but they feel they should take the picture in the first place because it's what you do. And we all feel, therefore, that we should like everybody else's picture because if we don't like theirs, then why the hell should they like ours back? Which, of course, they don't, but feel they have to. Get it? That so-called digital gold is, in fact, a self-perpetuating bubble of, well, nothing, hence the bubble analogy. Armed with all that data, you really think they can manipulate how you vote? Facebook, Cambridge Analytica, the Russians and Google have no more a clue about how to change your mind than I do, so relax. Post whatever you like, they're not nearly as clever as they make you think. Apart from, of course, when it comes to tax evasion. In that arena, they are gods. So, what do you do to make your stand? Well, try by searching, ironically on Google, the Metanet. What is the Metanet? And all will be revealed. In the meantime, worry less about what you post and what they know, unless, of course, you're posting inspirational quotes. Please, please don't do that. More on that next time.